Hello readers, I'm Amy. Welcome to my little horror corner. Not this. This is this is contemporary. Ignore this. This is horror. This is Stephen King. I have some kind of horrific V.C. Andrews stuff on the top of my shelf. Um, yeah, ignore this. Just pay attention to the stuff that you cannot see. <laughs> Um, this is another video idea that I had initially for October, and if you've been watching my channel the last couple weeks, you know October was really not my month, so I'm doing it now because I don't have the energy for end of the year videos, so I'm doing like some smaller idea videos here and there that aren't going to require editing lots and lots of statistics onto my screen because that stuff takes time. So today, October idea. I know it's Christmas, but whatever. Who cares about Christmas? Halloween is the best anyways. <laughs> Today, I am going to be ranking Grady Hendrix. This video will not be including paperbacks from hell. Um, not only have I not read it yet, and I'm not that kind of horror reader at this point. Um, also being nonfiction and the rest of his books being fiction, it just would be a very different sort of ranking. So let's go through these. I've read everything except for Paperbacks from Hell, which I might glance through just for the book covers because in studying graphic design, I think it would be important to look at the book covers. But here we have We Sold Our Souls, which was gifted to me by Victoria from what Victoria read. Um, the Horror Store. <laughs> horror Store is a book that my husband actually bought and read and hated it. And I wasn't reading horror at the time, so I unhauled it. And then I got into Grady Hendrix, and then I bought this book again. So we purchased this book twice, which is ridiculous, but whatever. Um, My Best Friend's Exorcism. I have not actually read the physical copy of this. I read the audiobook from the library, and I loved it enough that I got the physical copy. Also, this VHS cover is just design goals. I love it. One of my favorite covers. And the Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires, which I read this summer, because it came out this summer or this spring. I read it this year in in 2020. Horror horror books really fit for this year. Ranking them. Um, actually, in order that I read them, what order did I know I read My Best Friend's Exorcism first, and then I think I read. Southern Book Club, and then Horror Store, and then We Sold Our Souls. Um, which I think you can really see the progress of his writing as you go through. We Sold Our Souls is definitely my least favorite. I'm still keeping it because I'm a big Hendrix fan, um, and I like kind of seeing how an author progresses through their writing. We Sold Our Souls, you have this band that broke up, um, you're following a woman guitarist from the band who's like trying to find the guy who broke up the band and it's supposed to have to do with selling your soul and it it felt really disjointed um I wasn't sure how some of the pieces added up or like there was the idea of where you think this story is going to end up and then it doesn't feel like it really goes anywhere very much a first work I thought some of the characters and the horror elements were cool. It just wasn't very cohesive for me. Good idea needs to be rewritten a little bit. Second favorite, I actually love like all three of these, but or not second favorite, second least favorite. Ranking number three. <laughs> um, as much as I really liked all three of these, I'm gonna have to go with Horror Store again because as his writing progresses, he gets better. So I loved, again, design goals for this. This is actually set up like a furniture store catalog. It even, some of the chapter beginnings have furniture pieces. Um, and then all of the page numbers on the book are correct according to the page numbers in the book. So design, design wise, definitely one of my favorites. Um, I, I like that all of his books are printed by Quirk Books or are published by Quirk Books. I think they know what they're doing with their advertising. Um, I think the layout was really awesome. It has kind of smaller paragraphs or smaller columns, um, again, because of the furniture setup. The story itself was fine. 
I, I like the idea of kind of a haunted house, but in a store. Haunted houses are really generally a miss for me. I think I like the idea of a haunted house in a book, not so much a movie. Haunted house movies tend to freak me out way too much. Haunted house books, I like the idea of being able to take the haunted house at my own pace, of being able to control the scariness by, you know, like closing the pages. But they tend to be a little too slow burn for me. This one was faster paced than any other um, haunted house stories that I've read. But again, it just wasn't the most polished of Grady Hendrix's books. Still really appreciate what he did. And I'm just gonna keep going back to the design of this book because it's just so brilliant. Now we're going on to the second favorite. Between these two books, I'm gonna say second favorite would be Southern Book Club but I loved both of these. It's a very close call. I think what really makes the difference is that my best friend's exorcism just has this amazing friendship between the two main female characters. We really don't get like a lot of truly great female friendships in books. I think women in books tend to compete against each other or work with each other each for their own gain, but the friendship between the two girls in My Best Friend's Exorcism is just, just completely amazing. And that's what really sold me on this book, that's what really still gets me about this book, is the friendship. Um, Southern Book Club, I like what Hendrix was trying to do. He was, he had this character, all these characters who were really gaslighting, it was kind of this statement about um, what the mid-1900s and sexism was like. It discusses racism, um, kind of sexual assault, ideas around sexual assault and what it means about women. I'm not sure how well he had that conversation. Being a white woman reading a white male author, like, I know he made some mistakes in his conversations on the in this book. I couldn't really tell you what those mistakes are. I need to still watch more reviews on that. Um, but you have this vampire who tends to target the poor neighborhoods. Specifically, there's a poor black neighborhood. And again, I'm not really the person to say whether or not Hendrix had that conversation correctly. But with the different ways that these two books went, I'm gonna have to say My Best Friend's Exorcism is my favorite because of the friendship and I'm not sure how to think about the tricky conversations in this book. Also, design goals here. As someone who is going freelance in graphic design, I would love to do book covers at some point. I probably should do a video of just like playing around redesigning book covers, but these two are just awesome. Even this one, this one is supposed to be like a Rolling Stones magazine cover. So that is my quick little video on my rankings. Now that I've gotten these out of order again, I'll put them in order. Um, that's not right. Most favorite to least favorite, with the exception of We Sold Our Souls, it's a pretty close call between the four of them. I am so excited to see what Hendrix comes out with next. As I'm talking about this, I feel like I'd heard that he was supposed to do a TV show or a mini series or something. I'll have to look into that. I don't know why I'm remembering that now. Maybe it's something I just had a dream about. I don't know. But please, in the comments below, let me know your ratings on Hendrix's books, what you think of him, and the conversations that he has. Please like, subscribe, be my friend on social media. I'll see all of you in my next video. Bye, friends.